Greetings YouTube. Today we're looking at a handmade knife um, converted from an industrial blade uh, and I just recently got this. I haven't had even had a chance to sharpen it. All I've done is like put it in the sink and scrub off the worst of the gunk and so you're looking at it is here is the patina of the metal itself. Um, it's got a wooden grip, full tang a construction, uh, pinned and I'm probably pretty sure that these pins are going through holes just like in this blade and these holes are beveled on one side they do not have a bevel on this side they do because this used to be a industrial cutting or shearing blade so it was a cutting it was designed to come down in a big hydraulic press and that's how it was mounted and um, I think this thing was probably for shearing paper because I've seen knives like this before in those kinds of machines. And they can be quite large, so they, this thing could have been three or four feet long, maybe it got broken, and so somebody brought it home and, or they bought it as salvage, and then they retooled it into a, uh, a, ship, a sh um, sheep's foot blade on steroids. But this, this is a, now a cleaver, um, and it's not a cutter, because the way they did the bevel on this, that bevel is kind of, sharp it's almost axe like in some way so it's very much a chopper now it is not a a, a, a slicer you notice this big groove in here I think this was part probably part of the process of preventing the blade from sticking to things um, so that was in there to like a let air pressure through that's what I think that was for and if you look at this side there's this is this this is the bevel that the person I think put in it but this right here is a secondary bevel I think this may have been the primary original bevel. And I kind of wish they'd left it like that and then brought the other one into a chisel grind. Because I think it would have been more interesting and you could have probably sliced with it more efficiently. But even after I get this thing on a whetstone, it's never going to be a slicer really. It's going to be a chopper and I'm okay with that. I got this mostly because it was so darn cool. Um, I love seeing repurposed items and it's what I do with all my weapon builds I'm repurposing one item into another and I love the fact that there are knife makers out there that do the same thing now you did probably notice by now it says handmade carbon steel JB on there I don't know what that means the guy that I bought it from said he thought it came out of come out of Africa <sighs> that's possible Africa is a really big place 1.5 billion people on it so there's the possibility this came out of Africa. I don't know. Um, this is carbon steel, no questions about that. This is handmade. I don't know who JB is. I did a little read a bit of research. There is a knife baker out there like JB Knives, but he does custom stuff and I didn't see anything even vaguely like this on his on his page. And this is a vintage, at least, that this is probably not antique, but it is definitely vintage. Um, so I don't think that that person is the person that made this. So if anybody out there knows anything about a JB handmade knife maker out there that repurposed industrial equipment into knives, I would love to know. That would be very cool. Um, as far as the ergonomics of this thing go, it's, it is very nice. The handle uh, is very smooth, and but it's still got uh, good edge alignment, very good, nice chopping. It's very much rectangular. It's got no hot spots on it. The, 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 the person did a really nice job of making this contoured. Um, and if you if you wanted to, you could easily choke up on this. But again, it's a very, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if my camera can pick that up. I apologize, my camera's not the best in the universe. But it's, yeah, it's, it's not a shallow, grind it is definitely kind of thick behind the edge so I don't think this would ever be good at slicing at all even after I put a proper edge on it and it doesn't have a proper edge whoever had this before me did not keep it properly sharp because there's a definite burr um, uh, going like this way and then there's a burr going on this way so yeah they did not keep track of this I mean I keep this up to up to up to snuff and I'm probably gonna break out my oil stones for this one because there's just something about this knife <clears throat> that makes me want to use my oil stones as opposed to like my work sharp system or my Spyderco um, ceramic 
sharpeners. Now, this thing just to me says would break out the, the, the oil stones and do it the old fashioned way. Um, see if I can really bring that edge back to life and then do the best I can with making it as sharp as possible. Um, and then maybe try processing some food with it, you know? Get some get some chicken out there and see what I can do to do to do some chicken with this thing, because I think that would be very cool. But this is a great shape. The guy had a great eye. Um, did a nice job of lining up those holes so they very they feel very balanced to me. Um, and I don't know. I don't think this was here originally, because um, because this wouldn't have been handmade for the industrial market. It was handmade after the industrial market. But I don't know about who JB is or what the heck kind of, uh, did, did they JB always make reclaimed knives? Or was that like something that was only done occasionally? Is the JB the original manufacturer of these blades and just used their off cuts that failed to, you know, make it to, to sale to turn into knives? That could be a possibility as well. So I don't know. So anybody out there knows anything about JB handmade knives that may have, may have a history of making things out of industrial tooling uh, tell me I would love to know. So thanks for being here today. I hope that you enjoyed the video.